T, let's navigate these elections for us. Uh, obviously, the Netherlands election uh, we saw this week, it was seen by some as a test of right-wing sentiment in Europe. And then, of course, the big one coming up in France and Germany this year. What's your take on the populism about people moving all the way to the right? Should we be looking at what happened not... in Britain and the U.S. as a template? Well, there's still a lot of strong voice, voices that say the Netherlands was not a turning point. It's, uh, don't forget, it, it, the um, uh, Rutte, the, uh, the re-elected or most probably re-elected prime minister of the Netherlands, um, still has to hinge on a coalition. He profited from Erdogan's um, extreme appearances on, on European soil. And you still have a very similar sentiment in Europe, a very negative sentiment in Europe towards the so-called establishment as we have seen it in the U.S. And, and I expect Marie Le Pen to, to, to be at least very successful in the first round. Whether she will win the second round in France is, is, is open and most probably she won't win it. But we're talking about 30, 40 percent margins for populist parties in certain parts of Europe. So it's definitely not over yet. And if the European Union doesn't see it as a wake-up call to finally come to terms and get things fixed, people are sick and tired off, we won't see any improvement on the, in the political spectrum. And that's something Angela Merkel has to struggle with as well. All right, we'll leave it there. KT, always a pleasure to see you. Thanks so much. Thank you. KT, Zoo Gutenberg there. By the